हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज अवर टॉपिक ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन इज कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज माय सेल्फ सुबोध भांडारकर एज यू नो ए सोल्यूशन इज ए होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर कंपोज ऑफ टू और मोर सब्सटेंसेस द कंपोनेंट व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन लार्ज प्रोपोर्शन इज कॉल्ड ए सॉल्वेंट द कंपोनेंट व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन स्मॉलर प्रोपोर्शन इज कॉल्ड ए सोल्यूट इफ सोल्यूट इज प्रेजेंट इन स्मॉल प्रोपोर्शन then solution is called dilute solution for example if sugar is added to water then there is a formation of solution sugar is solute whereas water is a solvent extensive and intensive properties friends as you know these are the physical properties extensive properties are depend on quantity of matter for example volume mass etc whereas intensive properties are not depend on quantity of matter for example temperature density etc friends as you know if we take 10 ml water and 100 ml water then boiling point of 10 ml water or 100 ml water is 100 degree centigrade thus temperature is not depend on quantity of matter that's why it is intensive property derived from latin colligatus meaning bound together the properties which depend on number of particles of solute in the solution and nature of solvent are called as colligative properties colligative properties include relative lowering of vapor pressure elevation of boiling point depression of freezing point osmotic pressure etc now friends let us discuss what is wentoff's factor the wentoff's factor is the ratio between the observed value of colligative property to the normal value of colligative property when solute particle associate in solution i is less than 1 for example benzoic acid form dimer in benzene when solute particle dissociate in solution i is greater than 1 for example potassium chloride dissociate into k positive and cl negative ion when solute particle neither dissociate nor associate in solution i equals to 1 for example glucose in water determination of degree of dissociation with the help of i that is wentoff's factor the degree of dissociation is the fraction of the original solute molecule that have dissociated it is usually indicated by the symbol alpha the molecule of electrolyte like nacl kcl na2so4 etc dissociate in solution to form ion there is increase in number of particles in solution due to dissociation so experimentally calculated value of colligative property is higher than normal value nacl and kcl these are known as uni univalent electrolyte because NaCl dissociate into Na positive plus Cl negative ion but such a situation is not for Na2SO4 because it is dissociated into twice Na positive ion and SO4 two negative ion so let us discuss now how to determine degree of dissociation for uni univalent electrolytes using wentoff factor i suppose one mole of uni univalent electrolyte like NaCl dissolve in a solution suppose it is ab it is dissociated into a positive plus b negative ion for example if nacl is added to water then there is formation of na positive ion and cl negative ion so initial mole that means when there is no dissociation one mole of ab is taken so amount of a positive and b negative form will be zero whereas at equilibrium if alpha moles of a positive are formed then same amount of b negative are also formed and thus amount of ab remains as 1 minus alpha now see here one mole of ab dissociate to form alpha moles of a positive and alpha moles of b negative undissociated molecules of ab are nothing but 1 minus alpha thus observed total number of moles of ab and its ions are equal to 1 minus alpha 
plus alpha plus alpha that is total number of particles which is equal to 1 plus alpha. Normal value of colligative property as you know it is equal to 1. Thus I is equal to observed value of colligative property divided by normal value of colligative property which is nothing but equal to 1 plus alpha divided by 1. So by arranging we get alpha is equal to I minus 1. Thus by knowing I degree of dissociation that is alpha can be calculated. Now case 2 for dissociation of electrolyte type AXBY. Example is Na2SO4 as you know it dissociates into twice Na positive plus SO4 two negative ions. Now let us consider a general reaction AXBY it gives X into A raised to power Y positive plus Y into B raised to power X positive. So this kind of dissociation occurs. Initial mole is taken as 1. So amount of Fy positive and Bx negative will be 0. Moles at equilibrium are 1 minus alpha for Ax and By, X alpha for Ay positive ion and Y alpha for Bx negative ion. Thus total number of ions and moles of Ax By are obtained by adding these three that is 1 minus alpha plus x alpha plus y alpha which is equal to 1 plus alpha in bracket x plus y minus 1. Now here x plus y is equal to n is a total number of ions thus this equation becomes 1 plus alpha in bracket n minus 1. You know normal value of colligative property is equal to 1. Thus i that is Venthoff factor is equal to 1 plus alpha in bracket n minus 1 divided by 1. By rearranging we get alpha is equal to i minus 1 divided by n minus 1. Now if alpha is equal to 1 that is if dissociation is 100 percent then i is equal to n. You put value here you get so observed value of colligative property is n times the normal value of colligative property. If alpha is equal to 0 that is no dissociation then i is equal to 1. Thus observed value of colligative property is equal to the normal value of colligative property. Thank you for watching this video.